guys. All right. The student section is yeah, coming student, alive. Student section is coming alive. So, so right, right now, if just just a heads up for those that have tuned in, or you're just if you're just coming to Game Mike for the first time, there is a hand raising button. You'll see from the audience side. We're, we're going to try to clean that up to make it a little bit more clearer for you. But that means that you want to come up and and say something and talk to Doug and I. So if you hit that hand signal, that's what that's what you're doing. So as of right now, I've, I've cleared out everybody who's hit that hand button just in case it was an accident. But if you do actually want to say some words, hit that hand button. We'll accept you in for your comments. So right now, uh, we've got about two minutes until this game gets going. Uh and I believe Rockland will receive the ball. They will receive the ball to start the second half. Folsom went three and out on their first series. Rockland did defer there at the beginning of that game there, Coach. They're going to go ahead and receive the ball. And I got I to gotta wonder, we were talking about it earlier, are they going to try to open up this game or are they going to stick with the script here? Both ball clubs continue to run, 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 throw, run, 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 throw. But I got to be real honest here, Coach. Second half, big game like this in Northern California under the lights on a Friday night. Thanksgiving break, somebody's got to start airing it out and open it up here. Something's got to give. Yeah, exactly. And both teams, you, you totally can tell that their game plan was run, 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 and and see what happens. Now second half, the adjustments. This is where there, there's a reason these teams are here. Obviously talent, but also good coaching. Those who go in second half and make the adjustments are usually the ones that come out on top. So. Yeah, Rockland will receive the ball to start the second half. The thun or I would say Folsom had the momentum heading into halftime, right? But it's still 3-3. And we got about a minute to go here uh, before this game kicks off. And, and Doug, <laughs> for those not here, like I, I want to paint the picture of how the Thunder have been playing Rico Flores. I, I have not seen that – you, you almost say that when you're like, why don't they just put two guys, three guys on it? Thunder literally is doing that. They have their safety, one of their best players. There's a corner basically locked up on Flores, man-to-man, -man, and then there's a safety right behind him, literally right behind him. And there's him. a linebacker spying him too, Coach. Let's be honest. There's a linebacker spying him too, and they're watching number seven out of the backfield. Yep. All right, Doug, here, here's where you, where you get to – Earn your money, even though you're not getting paid. <laughs> but here we go. Start of the second half. Coach, I must have not have read the fine print because somewhere along the line it says I wasn't getting paid. And I'm still excited to call the ball game. Well, folks, you can hear the crowd. I'm going to pause for a minute and let you listen. That's Friday Night Football in Northern California, folks. Here comes the drums. The cheerleaders are hopping. Mother Nature's turned on the air conditioner. And we're getting ready to go to work. Folsom's got it teed up, Coach. They're going to smack themselves on the pads, and here we go. 23 kicks a dart down there. That ball's going to get squirrely on him. He's having trouble sticking a fork in it. Now we got it. We're going to sweep right, Coach. He's got room. No, 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 no. He says he's going to come back to the left. Folsom's all over it. Listen to the crowd here, Coach. Second half is up and running, and we're playing football. Yeah, and the Bulldog momentum keeps going here as the Thunder will start with their ball, the ball deep. Now, if you're just joining us on Game Mic here, we talked about the crowd earlier on. I don't want to harp on it too much, but, I, I mean, Friday night, Friday high school football, it, it's not just about what's going on on the field. It's everything else. Love the Thunder crowd. Bulldogs coming to life, too, as well. So they'll take the ball first down, Doug, on their own 11. And here they go, Coach. They're going to stay familiar for us right now. They're going to stay out of the shotgun. We're going to run motion from left to right. We're going to hand that ball off. We're going to sweep right. Folsom's all over it. Looks like for a gain of two. Hey, Coach, that's the whole defense chipping in right there. Yeah, yeah and the Bulldogs. And Doug, we've seen this a lot tonight. I can't even really just name one player who made the tackle. We've seen four or five. Uh, both teams have blue helmets, but the blue helmet with the F on it to the ball, chasing down the defend or the running back. Great job. First play here. Now it's second down. They did pick up five yards on that play, though. They're on the opposite end of us. Hard to see a little bit, but second down and five. Second and five. They're going to stick to the run here, Coach. They're going to hand that ball off. He's going to sweep left. There's Folsom again, Coach. I'll tell you what. The momentum has definitely swung here a little bit in the Bulldogs' favor. They went into the tunnel feeling good about themselves. They've definitely come out of the tunnel feeling good about themselves. And I want to reiterate on something you said earlier, Coach. When you make changes in the huddle, when you make changes in the locker room, that starts at the top, Coach. And you've heard me say that before. 
Yeah, and that looked like DJ Brown, uh, the junior, six foot, 185 pounder, flying to that ball, hitting him for a two yard loss. Big stop by the Bulldogs, Doug. Here we go, third down and seven. Third and seven. They're gonna run. Full. They're gonna run. He's gonna drop back in the pocket here. He's gonna let that one air out, coach. Hey, he's got that man beat. That ball's in the air. Holy woly. Off a of number four shoulder pad. No laundry on the deck. That's gonna take it to fourth down, coach. They gotta be thinking about punting here. Yeah, and let me draw a picture for you here. It Joey Roberts, the quarterback, set up. He looked deep. He number four it had the post route pretty open. DJ Brown on the coverage. J DJ Brown jumps up to try to knock it down, goes right over his fingertips, hits off the receiver's chest pads and to the floor, and the Thunder punting away. Rico Flores set to receive. Here we go, Mr. Flores. Like I've said it before, he's got to be thinking one thing here. He's the kind of player that could definitely break open this game, coach. The punt's away. Mr. Flores is plotting. He's going to let it drop. He's going to let it hop. He's going to go ahead and pick that ball up. He's going to scoot around the corner. And he's going to take it out of bounds for about a gain of 10 right there. I'll tell you what, coach. It's fun watching this kid. You never know when something's going to happen. I'm thinking to myself, they're going to down that ball. And here comes Mr. Flores. I'll take that ball and run with it. He's, pro he's probably the only player in this stadium, Doug, that you're okay with him doing that. Most kids, you're saying, Peter, 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 get away, get away. Instead, Rico Flores, everybody in the stadium, on the, at least not a Thunder fan, is saying, go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. And he did. He still picked a couple, a couple yards. Most kids would have just ran away, including myself. Well, here we go. Folsom's going to get their first crack of the half here, Coach. Once again, I'm just repeating myself. They're going to go in a familiar set here. Number seven's going to work out of the shotgun. Number one's in motion. They're looking to throw a little screen pass here. It looks to be, to me, like they got a little confused right there, Coach. 85's thinking maybe he's going to get the ball. Number one's thinking maybe he's going to get the ball. I think we got to just press reset on that one and start over, Coach. Huddle up. Yeah, that's Justin Arnez, the intended receiver, and I'm going to harp on this again. I have been so impressed by both defenses tonight, the Thunder and the Bulldogs. Right now, Folsom is going opposite way of the of the scoreboard. Ten minutes here in the third quarter, 3-3 three, three game. Folsom's going to drop back. Number seven's going to air it out over the middle. Hey, that's to the big tight end, number 85. Coach must be looking into his crystal ball. That kid's got good hands when you put it on him. Yeah, I mean, Doug, imagine imagine covering this, right? 6'5", 230-pound junior that's coming across the middle. There's not many people at the high school level, let alone college level, that can cover that. Coach, I'm from the early 90s. Somebody that big, you better bring a friend to help. <laughs> that's right. Well, they got the friend help in Rico Flores. They can't help on Walker Lions. 10-4, roger that. Folsom's going to work out of the shotgun. Number seven's going to step back. He's going to throw it over the middle. He's got a man open. Holy woly. That ball's down near the goal line there, coach. Folsom's making a move. The crowd's getting excited. Coaches are jumping around. Here we go, Bulldogs. First down, Bulldogs. Yep, and that is Austin McMillan with a big catch. And now we got a first down and goal for Folsom. 3-3 three, three here. The ball is on the five or the five-yard line. First and goal. Big, big offensive series here coming out of the gate for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs are looking to keep the momentum. They're going to stay in the shotgun. They're going to hand it off to number four up the middle, coach. I'm looking for it. I don't see any hands in the air just yet. That ball's on the deck, coach. We got folks scrambling here. Looks like the Bulldogs might have recovered it. Yeah, and that was Torrey Hendrick going up in the middle. I, I think right here, Doug, on this next play, I, I, I could see them going with a fake handoff and Tyler Tremaine keeping it. But what do I know? We'll see here. I think they're going to hand the rock off. The ball's on the two-yard line. Coach is looking into his crystal ball right now, folks. We got a large crowd at home that's listening. Will he be right or will he be wrong? They're going to hand that ball off the middle. He's going up the front. Touchdown! Bulldogs! And I couldn't quite see the number that went into the end zone, but it looked like number 18, Mason Norberg, the tight end slash defense in 6'3", 215. They may have just gave it to him and said, hey, big man, get into the end zone. Again, they're on the opposite side of the field from us, but touchdown, Folsom. What a series for the Bulldogs. I'll tell you what, Coach, they got right in behind number 66 on that one. 23 is going to line it up for the field goal here. They're looking to get a clean snap and a clean kick. 
Snaps on the way, balls on the deck. Holy woly, he got that off. That's what I call a chip shot, kid. Break out your nine iron, hit it with some backspin. Watch it find the cup. And we, we, we want to give some love to the linemen out there. Doug said it, number 66, Julio Garcia, the six foot five, uh, 100 or 210 pound lineman leading the way. And Doug, it's 10 3 here. Momentum. The momentum was all Folsom heading into half. Full momentum right now is in the hands of the Bulldogs. I couldn't agree more, coach. Bulldogs got a little pep in their step. Somebody, I'll be real honest, coach. Somebody done took the leash off the dog and they're running wild right now. I'll tell you what, Thunder's going to have to get it figured out. Their defense started off the game great, but Folsom right there on that drive was not going to be denied, Coach. Three just wasn't in the cards for him. No, and it all started with the big play to Walker Lyons. He has seven TDs on the season. He caught a big pass across the middle, set up that touchdown there by the Bulldogs. And now we'll see what Rockland can do with their backs against the wall, the first touchdown of the night. And there's been a couple deep balls, Doug, that have been there for the Thunder just kind of in and out of the, the receivers as the ball's kicked off into the end zone. And just like that, we'll be back here. We got a good one going. Folsom. 10. Rockland. 3. We'll be back in 15 seconds. Are you nervous about getting on the game, mic? That's okay. It's as easy as talking on the phone. Anyone can do it. Or are you that person who always thought you would be a good sports broadcaster? Like every time you say something, the announcer... All right, here we go, Doug. First down for the Rockland Thunder. Looks like they're going to throw a fake pass to the right. They're going to run left with it, Coach. Folsom says, no, no, no. We're watching that right now. I got to be real honest with you here, Coach. These are high school kids, but I'm watching them go left to right. I'm watching the linebackers get off their spots. They're tracking all kinds of things. I'm telling you what, a lot of these kids are going to get to play on Saturday and maybe even Sunday, Coach. Yeah, and what's interesting about this game, right, Doug, is, is Rockland's here. Rockland is a Division II playoff eligible team, but they won a D1 league. That's why they're playing in the D1 playoffs. And so it's incredible to see that they're here against Folsom. Sierra Foothill League rivals playing out. And here's Joey Roberts set up to pass. He's going to throw it. Whoa, what a catch by the receiver there. One-handed, I stole your thunder, Doug. I'll be real honest with you, Coach. This is game, Mike. Anybody can fill in. You don't got to bring the same emotion I'm bringing. Just make sure you call the play on time, coach. <laughs> and that great play there by the Rockland Thunder making that catch. Wow, what a what an effort there uh, by the receiver. And Doug, Rockland needs a big drive here. And that was a great way to start it. Now they're going to hand off inside. Folsom's going to stop him. I just was looking up the receiver there to make sure I got his name right. That's Kyron Bell, who made that catch for Rockland. He is a six-foot-pound senior. What a one-handed snag, but the second play went nowhere, so it'll set up a second down and 11 for the Thunder. Thunder got to keep it moving right now, Coach. Looks to me like they're trying to go back to the run, 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 pass, the run, 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 pass. But I'll tell you what, they're finding a few gaps here in the zone on the Bulldogs here to throw the ball to. So I got to be believing here that maybe we're going to stick it in the belly and we're going to try to throw another one. Quarterback's going to work out of the shotgun for the Thunder. He's going to drop back. He's going to roll to his right. Here it is, coach. He's going to let it all out. He's got a man open. That could be pass interference on Flores. I'm waiting to see laundry right now. Referee says, no, no, no. That's legit by Mr. Flores. Not only does he catch touchdown passes, but he also bats them down. Wow, that should have been a pass interference if i am no cowboys fan doug not at all but if you watch the raiders cowboys game that was the exact same pass interference in overtime flores did not have his head turned kent was so wide open it should have been a touchdown if he threw the ball and let kent run on it he underthrew him flores did not have his head turned around he j ran into kent no pi called thunder crowd not happy about that one i can understand why it's starting to get a little chippy out here coach you heard the booze that was coming from the thunder side so i gotta be real honest here do they try it again on him no 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 we got laundry in the air this could be a false start here could be backing him up a little bit more yep yep the tide is definitely changing. The Bulldogs have got them a little startled right now, Coach. Thunder's going to have to control the heart rate here. 
Yeah, you're right, Doug, and, and you're at, you absolutely nailed that. The Thunder need to control their emotions here because on that play, I, I, no joke, Nathan Kent was probably five yards ahead of Flores. And Flores, I don't even think Flores, that was the guy he was covering. He's just so fast, he ran and just tried to cover it. Roberts just un underthrew him. Now a penalty. Now it's third down and 16. Now the th uh, the Bulldogs crowd is going nuts. Yes, momentum is swinging. Momentum is done. <laughs> the momentum is swung. Folsom's looking to put a stop in it. Thunder's going to work out of the shotgun again. Quarterback's going to roll out to the right here. He's going to let it rip. That ball's going to fly out of bounds right there. What you're hearing right now is the Folsom Bulldog crowd. They're getting after it. That's going to take it to fourth and 16, coach. I got to assume the Thunder got to pump this one away. And here he comes. Here comes Mr. Flores. He's asking you to kick it to him. Thunder's got to be thinking, no way, Mr. Flores. Yeah, this is the third game I've seen of Folsom this, this year. I saw him play Oak Ridge. I saw him play De La Salle. Now I've seen him play against Rockland. You don't see a lot of emotions out, out of Flores. He's a cool kid. He, you, you don't know if he just scored. You don't know if he just got beat. But there was a lot of emotions, like Game Mike, when he didn't get called for that pass interference call. Thunder punts it away. That ball might have been tipped. That's a bad punt there, Coach. And it's going in reverse. I'll tell you what. Things are not going well for the Thunder right now. The crowd is down. I can't hear anything from that side. The Bulldogs are starting to turn up the volume here, Coach. Yeah, it looked like Justin Uckland, based on his reaction there for the Folsom Bulldogs, the big old linebacker, six foot three, 220 linebacker slash defensive end, may have got a, a finger on that, as Doug said. And just like that, Folsom will start basically at midfield here. Momentum their way, leading 10-7, to 7, 639 here in the third quarter. Folsom's got to be thinking to themselves, Coach, we go down here and get some more points. Not a field goal, but a touchdown. We're going to be looking awfully good. They're going to work out of the shotgun again. They're going to hand the ball off to 40. He's going to pull it out. They're going to throw the pass to Mr. Flores. Mr. Flores has got the catch down the sideline. He's going to make one move. He's got one person to be. Holy woly. We got laundry on the field, Coach. Mr. Rogers' neighborhood is knocking again. That could be holding. What before we get to that holding call or whatever is going to be called here, Doug? That was a five star play by Rico Flores. Unbelievable catch. Uh, and, and let's see what the man in the white hat's going to say. Ineligible receiver downfield. It's going to come back. It's all mute point, but you still put, he doesn't need a highlight tape because everybody knows who he is. But you put that one on the highlight tape. He spun out of one. He dodged another. He dove into the end zone. But then the laundry came. Yeah, you can tell right now. I don't know if these referees do any kind of fishing, but I'll tell you what. They like to throw the line out and reel them in, coach. They're bringing them all the way back down the field. Folsom's going to have to press reset. Thunders got all excited about it. Here we go. We're going to line Mr. Flores out to the left here. Folsom's going to work out of the shotgun. 85 is going to be in the slot. Number six looks like he might be open over here, Coach. He's out on an island by himself. Number six covering him. Folsom looks over to the right. They're going to take their sign. We got coaches doing the dance over here. Number seven says, I see you, Coach. Let's go to work here. Out of the shotgun. Snaps the ball. He's going to take a three-step drop. He's being pressured. Dumps it off to number four with running room. I'll tell you what, Coach. There goes that kid again. I'll tell you what. He kind of reminds me of an Earl Campbell, don't he? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Hendrick. We call his name a lot, lot tonight. And it, 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 what happened there is Tremaine looking, looking, looking. He didn't have anybody, and he went to it. Basically, his fourth option was with Hendrick out of the backfield. Just dumped it off to him. He picked up a nice pick up there after that penalty. The and so now it sets up a manageable second down. Second down and eight. Five fifty to go in the third quarter. Second down and eight. Folsom working out of the shotgun. One running back in the back, takes a snap. He's going to drop back, a little bit of pressure. He's going to go ahead and drop a dime to 85. 85's got running room, coach. That's that big kid right there. I'm telling you what, you're definitely going to see 85 playing on Sundays, coach. He's, he's, got, he's a head and shoulder above the rest of them out here. Well, Doug, we talked about halftime adjustments, right? Uh, my my assumption here as the Bulldogs coach is they said, hey, uh, they got like five guys covering Flores. Why don't we use our five-star junior tight end and just run him across the middle, and he's tearing up the defense here in the second half? Coach, some people at home might think you're exaggerating, but there's literally five kids covering number 13 tonight. you got to be thinking 85. Seven drops back. Hey, I like the footwork. He's flushed out of the pocket, drops a dime over the middle. 
Holy moly, is that a flag down there, coach? That's a flag down there, coach. I see laundry in the end zone. That could be first and goal for the Bulldogs here. Well, in high school, in high school, it is not a spot penalty. It is a 15-yard penalty. But, Doug, what I noticed the most out of that play, it, it, the pass interference called, I noticed the most the Rockland Thunder crowd. Say, it was kind of that sarcastic boo of like, wait a minute here. How do they get that pass interference and not us? Listen to it. Coach, if you want to compare that to what Mr. Flores did, <laughs> we might have got away with one. Nobody's going to jail tonight on that one, Coach. No, so that I, I understand the, the boos, the frustration coming for the Thunder. On the opposite end, the Folsom Bulldog crowd kind of gave, gave that uh, kind of opposite cheer of like, ha-ha, we got that one. And now it sets up first down and goal, 5:30 for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs are on the move. I told you folks once, I'll tell you twice, that it took the leash off and they're letting the dog run wild. They're going to hand it off to number four up the middle. Hey, there they go again, Coach. They want to try to expose that middle run. I'm watching them. Here we go. Run, run, run. And now we're going to try to dump something off here, Coach. It's got to be coming. Folsom has definitely opened up the book here in the second half. I'm seeing more throws right now, Coach. Well, when not you think Walker Lyons right here? That's what I would assume. I'm trying to find him. If he's on the field, yes, he is. They're going to put him out to the left side of Tyler Tremaine. Uh, he's one-on-one -on -one right here. I would go with the big man. Post him up, throw it to him, see what he can do. Everybody in the building has got to be thinking that too, right, Coach? 85 on the slot all by himself. They're going to roll away from him, though. They're looking in the end zone. What do we got there, Coach? It's a hard view down there. Incomplete pass. That's going to bring up... Third and six. Sorry about the pause there, folks. I'm telling you what. Got the glasses on. The bifocals are working hard right now. They're 40, 50, 60 yards away from me. We're trying to get it right. Yeah, well, and we said, okay, we're going to go. They're probably going to go to Walker Lyons on the left side. And then Tyler, Tyler Tremaine rolls to the right side away from Walker Lyons. But this time, Walker, the tight end, he's set up on the line of scrimmage this time on, on the right side of, of the line. Uh, we'll see what they do here. But, I mean, I would go to him here. Not hard. Uh, that's incredible analysis on my part, I know. But Folsom's going to hand it off with a little bit of motion. Four's going to sweep to the outside. He's going to put his shoulder down. Looks like he just got stopped short of the goal line there, Coach. Hey, and I want to reiterate on what Coach is saying. You people at home are probably thinking, you're right. We're not coaches. We do game mic. It's in the emotions, folks. <laughs> yeah, well, and, okay, so what, what they did there, though, Doug, is they got the first down. So Hendrick got the ball. He swept it out to the right side, and he picked up the first down. So now it's first and goal at the four-yard line. That's why we're on the mic. We're not coaching. Even though you're calling me coach, but, you know. <laughs> That's a whole different story, El Capitone. They're gonna run the ball back up the middle again, number four. I'm waiting to see the I'm waiting to see the referees here. Nope, nope, nope. I'll tell you what, the Thunder are not making it easy down here, coach. They're stuck in the deck right now. I'm thinking pretty soon we're gonna have to stick in somebody's belly and go up top to 85 here, coach. Well, they just they just brought in DMP, Donovan Max E. Parler, into the game, the junior running back. He's had some big, hard runs so far in this game. I'm going to say they're going to give it to him, and guess what? They're probably going to throw to number 85. Every time I say something, they do the opposite. I wouldn't be surprised, Coach. Not a big deal, though. We'll continue to keep calling it on the mic. They can't get away from us what we're looking at. Hey, there it is, buddy. Coach must be looking into the crystal ball. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Yep, I actually got that one right. Number 34, I call him DMP. I don't know if that's his nickname because his name's Donovan Maxi Parlor, the junior, 5'9". Brought him in, rushed it hard, went to his right side. Nice open gap by the offensive line. And, Doug, it is quiet over there on the Thunder side, and it is loud on Folsom side. Coach, we can hear crickets coming from the Thunder right now. That's definitely crickets over there. The noise is turned up on the Folsom side. And we're going to keep calling the game here. Folsom's going to look out on the extra point. 23's going to toe poke it right through the upright. That's good. That's going to give the Folsom Bulldogs the lead here, Coach. 17-3 with four minutes left in the third. I'll tell you what, this is starting to turn into something here on a Friday night under the lights. If you don't like this, you don't like Friday night football, Coach. No, you don't. And there's still plenty of game left here. This game is 100% not over. You got an incredible team on the opposite side in the Rockland Thunder. We What we've seen so far, though, Doug, in this second half is incredible adjustments by the Folsom coaching staff, 
and they have really changed this game. We'll see what Rockland can do. Joey Roberts, the quarterback, needs to get going, use those weapons on the outside. The run game, they stuck to it. They stuck to a game plan, but at some point, they got to open it up a little bit here. And here comes the kickoff from Folsom. Folsom's got to be getting excited too, Coach. They're going to end up turning this into a one-dimensional game. If uh, Thunder keep falling behind like they are, they're going to have to start airing it out. That's going to let the defense of the Bulldogs get after that quarterback. They're going to tee it up. They kick it off. We got a good return here. He's going to sweep to the outside here. Bulldogs are going to shut him down, though. Rockland's offense is going to take the field. Folsom's defense is going to take the field, Coach. They're both working hard right now. Yeah, I mentioned his name earlier just in, in this first half. I, I want to say his name again. That's Justin Uckland, the linebacker slash defensive end for the Bulldogs. He's six foot three. He's 220 pounds. He's been all over the place. You know, some of these guys are unsung heroes. They don't always get their names called. The defensive linemen, the guys in the trenches, the offensive line. But they are really taking over right now in this game. So the ball is at the 15-yard line for the Thunder. Thunder going to work out of the shotgun again. Quarterback's going to drop back. He's being flushed right now. He's going to have to get outside and run. Not much he can do. He finds a little donk right here. There's a little dink and donk. Holy moly, that ball's on the deck. I think Folsom might have recovered that, coach. Folsom's got the ball. We're going the other way here, coach. They tried to dink and donk him for some short gains, and that ball's on the deck. Yep, that was Greco Carrillo, the defensive back, the five foot ten junior. It was a pass out to number four. He's trying to fight for some extra yards. Greco, great name, just pulled it out of his, literally out of his hands, stripped it, balls on the turf. Greco picks it up, shows his Folsom crowd, I got this ball. And Doug, uh oh, if you're a Rockland fan. Coach, I've played a little football in my time, and I've, walk, I've watched a heck of a lot of football. Do we take our shot right here, Coach? I'm looking into my crystal ball. Do we go up top right now? Do we call Flores' name? Do we call 85's name? Who you got, Coach? Or do we go with Sneaky Six out there on the left? Well, look at this, Doug. I mean, if you're seeing it from our perspective, you got uh, Walker and Flores on the same side. So interesting here. Number six out on an island all by himself. They're going to roll to the right. Quarterback keep. He's going to go up top. That ball's out of the end zone there, coach. There he was, though, looking for Mr. Flores again. They took their shot to the end zone. We called that one. Yeah, but he had 26 guys covering him. So uh, I didn't know there was that many people allowed on the field, but it, but I got to be real honest. I think he's right. 25 or 26 there, coach. Yeah, the refs missed that call. They had about 26 guys on the defense. <laughs> no, but but in reality, they, they again, they had three or four guys on him. Uh, Tremaine tried to throw it to that back pylon. Nothing he can do there. Second down and 10. Folsom working out of the shotgun. They're going to snap the ball. They're going to hand it to 34. I'll tell you what, that kid runs with a vengeance. I'm telling you what, that ain't the first one he's ran over tonight. He's going to pick up a gain of four right there. Looks like Folsom's starting to get it figured out right now. Now it looks like they're playing a little bit of a clock game here in the third. They're going to run, 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 but we got to throw it sooner or later, coach. They got to be thinking about putting points on the board right now. And I'll be honest with you, coach, it could be a three or a seven right now the way Folsom's rolling. That's right. All right, so third down and six. Three, about three minutes left to go in this third quarter. Folsom working out of the shotgun, seven steps back, throws it to a wide open. Number six, I believe that is, over the middle. Great catch there, kid. That's going to be an automatic first down. I told you, coach, they keep looking at Mr. Flores in 85. Six should have a night out here. on. He's all by himself on an island, coach. Yeah, and if you're Austin McMillan, I mean, you you just absolutely love that you get to play with guys like Rico Flores and Walker Lyons because you're basically always one-on-one. -on -one. You're always going to be open, and if you just make the catches, you're going to have big nights, and that's what he's doing tonight. No, he's doing his job, Coach. He knows what role he plays. Look, they're going to spread him out real wide all by himself out here. Number six down to our right. Folsom in the shotgun. They're going to drop back. They're going to head it to 34 again. He's going to try to run it up the middle. Thunder's got a gang tackle right there, Coach. Four, five, six of them on him right there. Yeah, Maxi Parler, like you see him, you see him run onto the field, right? We're seeing number four run onto the field. You see Maxi Parler run on the field. He looks a little skinnier, 175. Uh, uh, Hendrick is 190, but, man, he runs hard. But right now, Torrey Hendrick comes back onto the field, number four for the Bulldogs. I remember somebody by the name of Mighty Mouse that used to pack a good punch too, Coach. I'm not always judging kids on their size. Number seven's going to work out of the shotgun. Folsom's going to stand up. They're going to take their call from coach. He's going to get back under center. He's going to shuffle the deck here. We got folks moving from left to right. 
A little bit of motion going on right here. Stays in the shotgun. He's going to hand it off up the middle to number four. Number four is going to try to pop it outside. The herd says, no, no, no. No, no, no. Sorry, it's the thunder. It's the thunder, folks. There it is. They're, they're running in a herd, though, when we're tackling. That's right. All right, so third down and goal. Big. I, Doug, I don't want to see the, say this is a do or die here for the thunder, but third down and goal from about the six-yard line here in a 17-3 to game with a minute 20 left to go in the third quarter. You have to walk out of here holding them to three or less. I'm going to totally agree with that right now, Coach. Folsom's got to be thinking if we can punch this ball in right here, we're definitely going to be up and running. They're going to stay with their familiar set right now, Coach. They're going to stay out of the shotgun. Seven's going to drop back. He's looking over the middle. He's looking over the middle. He drops a dime. That ball's in the air. That ball's going to hit the deck. That's going to bring up fourth down, Coach. Now, I'm going to be real honest with you. Does Folsom think about taking a shot at it, or do they run the field goal kicker out there? Well, we see the field goal team trotting onto the field. And, Doug, I... Look, I get Rico Flores. I get it. He's an incredible player. But again, I saw a linebacker, a defensive back, and a safety around him. Tremaine tried to jam it into him. Now, I get it. I would probably do the same thing if I'm a quarterback. I always look at Rico Flores, no matter what. When I'm in trouble, I look him. But he was covered there. And now, Jake Tremaine, the kicker, is coming in for the kick. Folsom lines up the kick. The snap. Ball's up. Good. Bulldogs with another three. That's going to bring it to 20 for the Bulldogs. Three for the Thunder. One minute left in the third quarter. Coach, I'll tell you what. We got a game here. Thunder's got to get it turned around here in the fourth, though, Coach. They're going to have to figure it out. If they don't get points on the board, Folsom runs back down there and puts some more points on the board. That could be trouble. Yeah, and, you know, hey, give it to the Thunder. They got out of there with only a field goal. So you got to give them that. Just got another score in. Halftime, modern day, 14, Servites, 7. Oakdale and Manteca playing for a section title right now. LeGrand earlier today won the Division 7 section final here at 2 p.m. before this game earlier on. This is the Division 1. We will have Division 2. And the rest tomorrow. I'm going to take this one. There's a kickoff here. Thunder taking it right up the gut, looking for some room to run. Probably the best return they've had all night. They'll at least be out out and about the 30, 35 yard line. We got a little bit of a break in the action as both offense and defenses switch out. We'll be back in 15 seconds. Score 20 to three. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. All right, Doug just said it while we were on that little break. They got to come out and get a touchdown. We'll see what the Thunder can do here with 53 seconds left in the third quarter. I got to be thinking, Coach. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown right now. Thunder's got to get it on the move, and yep, they're going to go right to the pass right now. They're going to drop back. Folsom's going to collapse the pocket on him, though. He's trying to get out of the way. Folsom's got him all wrapped up, Coach. That's the second sack of the night. Yeah, and he was looking down for his, his receivers down the field, could not find him. I saw 64, Theo Ruley, the freshman, Doug, the freshman coming in with the sack. Freshman on a Friday night? Sacking quarterbacks? I'll tell you what, you're off to a good start there, kid. Thunder going to come to the line here. They're going to stay in their familiarity right now. They're going to stay out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the right. One down in the slot to the left. Folsom's running a little bit of a zone here. We got motion from left to right. Quarterback takes a snap. It's all throw, throw, throw right now, coach. That ball's aired out. Nope, nope, short. That ball's going to catch grass before it does receiver. Yeah, and uh, it looked like he just ran a, 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 around a 10-yard little stop pattern, 10-yard hitch out on uh, the quarterback's right-hand side on the Rockland sideline, and the ball just kind of – 
fell about three yards to his left, hit the turf incomplete, and, and the stadium is quiet, Doug. We're kind of getting that quiet feeling here, except for now you're starting to hear the thunder crowd rise, or the bulldog crowd rise. This is a big play in this game. Three seconds left to go in the third quarter. Third and ten, you heard what Coach said. Three seconds left in the third quarter here. Thunder's got to be thinking to myself, we got to at least get five right here, Coach. Because if they have to punt the ball away again, we could be in trouble. They're going to drop back. He's looking deep. He's going to throw that ball over the middle. That ball's trouble. That ball's trouble. Holy moly. Folsom had it picked up, but they all ran into each other, Coach. Yeah, uh, Kent was deep. It was a deep old post route, and there were three guys on him. You had Caden Benvenue, the senior. It was in his hands. It was in Rico Flores' hands. It was in Josh Tremaine's hand. Hands. I mean, there was guys all over the place. They went for it. Kent's feet, Doug, it looked like he got a little bit caught up uh, as he was running that route. But that will be the end of the third quarter. The score. 20 to 3, fourth down and 10 when we come back from this break. Well, folks, here we go. The crowd is a-roaring. Thunder with the ball here. I was just telling Coach, they got to go down and get some kind of points here, Coach. It's early in the fourth quarter right now. They're getting ready to punt it away. They're going to give it right back to Folsom here. There's the snap. 16 holes tight. That's a nice kick. Mr. Flores might have an opportunity here. He's going to let it hop, skip, jump. And that ball's going to come dead right there, Coach. Thunder's going to down, down it right there. And here come the Bulldogs, Coach with great field position. They're almost at midfield right now. It's going to be first and 10 with 11 minutes and 52 seconds left in the fourth. I'll tell you what, they go down here and get some points. Thunder could be in trouble, coach. I see the clouds rolling in. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen the lightning yet, but it might be coming right up. Uh, you, you, you've been waiting for the Thunder to score so you could drop some of your taglines you wrote up in the car over. But They're killing me, coach. They're killing me, but I'm all right. I'll figure something out. <laughs> all right. So the ball is at the 39-yard line of Folsom just starting the fourth quarter. First and 10. Folsom's going to stay in the shotgun. Why change anything? They're going to hand it off to number four. He's going to sweep around the right. Mr. Rogers is knocking again. That flag's in the neighborhood. <laughs> the neighborhood of holding. And that's what it's going to be when Doug says Mr. Rogers is coming. <laughs> you know it's coming. <laughs> it's that holding call. Uh, so... Hey, if you're the Thunder, though, you'll take it, right? I mean, push them back. Tremaine's hot right now. Uh, the Bulldogs are hot. No, Doug, just I, I know we've talked about this throughout the game. You, you, you think, man, Folsom got smoked by Rockland the first time they played. They just absolutely smoked. Tyler Tremaine wasn't there, the quarterback. He's a big piece to this puzzle. Yeah, I've noticed Folsom's a whole different ball club when he's at the helm. He's going to stay in the shotgun. He's going to drop back. He's going to try to drop a dime out here to 85. Looks like there might have been a little confusion right there, Coach. But here we go again, Coach. We're looking at Flores in 85, and I want you to see number six trotting back all by himself. He was wide open right down the hash marks here, Coach. Yeah, and he just trucked a referee on the way back but on accident. But, yeah, he was open on that. Uh, basically, Lions ra ran basically like a five-yard out as McMillan ran the kind of uh, post route through the sideline, and Tremaine just went quickly to Lions without seeing McMillan deep open. Thunder had a pretty good rush on him there, though, Coach. He had to scramble out of the pocket. Folsom's going to stay in the shotgun. They're going to head it off up the middle. Here comes number 34, Coach. I'll tell you what. Folsom's got a good tandem in that backfield. Number four knows what he's doing, and 34 just puts the shoulder down. He's not trying to make any moves, Coach. That's looking at the secondary, and he's thinking, I'm coming to get you. 
Yeah, third down and five, big pick up there. You gotta, if you're a Thunder fan, you gotta like the future here because Rico Flores, Walker Lyons, the running back right there, Maxi Parlor, they're all juniors. You gotta be thinking, wow, we're gonna have some weapons coming back. Big play here Ball on the 44, third down and five. Third and five, Folsom's gotta be looking to pick this up. I got a feeling they might be going with one of them little dink and donk passes here, coach. They're gonna drop back. Nope, they're gonna hand it off. That's why I don't coach and I stay on the mic. That ball's on the deck. Holy woly, that's what the Thunder needed, folks. That ball's on the deck. Thunder's recovered it. We're going the opposite way. Just what the Thunder needed. They needed something. They needed anything to happen because that would have been pretty close to a first down, Doug. And you, then it starts getting into eating up the clock running out the clock instead the balls on the turf thunder has it ball on the 47 yard line let's make this a game rockland back in it now with 1057 left to go in this game if i'm a coach right now and i'm not i gotta be thinking about the hurry up here i'm gonna be throwing in my signals and i'm gonna get my team up and running right now 16's gonna drop back in the pocket he's looking he's got time he's gonna roll to the right he's got a lot of room to run coach he's gonna throw it though Throws it behind the receiver, coach. I'd like to see these young quarterbacks every now and then. Son, stick your foot in the ground and get upfield with that ball. Don't be afraid to take a hit. Yeah, and and Doug, I mean, we Joey Roberts, the quarterback, number 16, a junior, had a phenomenal week last week against St. Mary's, making all sorts of plays. That, that the, Basically, he was looking left. He was looking left, nothing left. He rolled right. He saw a backside drag coming across the middle. It was open. He just did not have the arm to get it there. It fell short. That would have been a huge pickup. Or, like Doug said, he could have ran for probably 10 yards. Thunder are going to stay in the shotgun. 16's calling the place. We got motion from left to right right now. We're going to bring 17 into the slot. 16's going to drop back. He's going to throw it to the outside. Folsom closes the gap. That's a good tackle right there. He's holding his knee right now, coach. We got a bulldog holding his knee right now, coach. Come on, son. Shake that off now. Yeah, we'll look to get the number, and we will be back because there is an injury on the field and we will be back here it looks hopefully like a cramp but we will be back here in about 15 seconds or so what's up everyone thanks for listening in to game mic action should resume as soon as your broadcaster is ready to go this is game mic All right, so it was Justin Uckland, pretty much their captain, one of their best players on the field, but it was a cramp. He got up and looked at the officials like, I'm good to play, but the official says you have to take a play off if you were down like that. So he'll be back in the game. Good to see he's not severely injured. Coach, I know we're all about game, Mike, but we're dads too, okay, folks? All of these kids out here, you don't want to ever see anything go bad. Thunder are going to stay in the snap. They're going to go out of the shotgun. 16's being pressured. He's going to throw the ball out of bounds. Mr. Flores with the coverage over there on 17. They're working hard right now. Folsom's trying to hold them to nothing here, Coach. Thunder's got to be thinking to themselves, we got to get down the field. We're running out of time. Yeah, it was interesting because Walker Lyons is actually the one who came in for Uckland on that play. He was in coverage. It was in, it was funny to see. You saw Rico Flores and Walker Lyons in coverage there. And now, Doug, fourth down and eight and – to me, it seems like they're going to be punting here, but it, it, we've had a tough time because the quarterback is also the punter, but right now he trots back. They're going to punt the ball. They're going to go ahead and get rid of it right now, Coach, with 10 minutes and 25 seconds left. 16's got to be a little upset right now. The quarterback's kicking the ball instead of throwing the ball. That's not a bad punt right now, Coach. Somebody's got to get down there and help him out, though. Holy woly, we might have had a penalty right here. We might have had a penalty here on Folsom, Coach. This could change everything. Yeah, because right now it's fourth down and eight. We'll see what the penalty is. The Rockland fans were cheering. I honestly was watching the ball and where it bounced to see if it, where they'd get in. And then all of a sudden we saw in in the neighborhood a flag come in. Uh, we'll wait. We'll, we'll see what the official in the white hat has done. I, I you know, I got to be. Sometimes the the officials are are you know harped on and, and given a hard time. Tonight seems like this crew has been doing a good job. 
Hey, all shots out to the referees that are doing this game right now. They've been very good, and it looks like they're going to pick up that flag, Coach. That's not going to make the Thunder very happy. I'll tell you what, we're giving kudos to the referees. You go ask a Thunder fan right now, it could be something different. <laughs> right, that's the hard part about being official. Somebody, half the, half the stadium doesn't like you, but uh, they've done a great job. Shout out to all the officials, umpires, everybody around, around the country that let these kids play by being out here and doing it. So... So it'll be it'll be Folsom ball. I I think the ball rolled down to about the I don't know where did that ball roll all the way down to? Are they going to make them re kick? So it looks like it's going to roll within the ten yard line of Folsom. So good job by Joey Roberts, the punter. Folsom and Rockland change it out, and we'll be back in fifteen seconds. <laughs> Are you a parent with multiple active kids? Are you at one event while your spouse is at another? That's where Game Mic comes in, the free app that allows anyone to broadcast live audio so the people can listen on the go and feel as if they were there. Game Mic, it's in the emotions. All right, so score is 20 to three right now. And Folsom taking over with 10-15 to go in the fourth quarter. Folsom's going to work out of the shotgun. Number four is going to sweep to the left. He's got some running room here, Coach. He's going to be knocked out of bounds after about a gain of 12 yards there, Coach. That's going to move the chains. I'll tell you what, Folsom might have the right plan right now. Maybe instead of run, 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 pass, we just do a run, 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 Coach. <laughs> yeah, well, this is a good, good time in the game to do it. With 10 minutes left to go, you're up 17 and... And one of the big old linemen just fell to the floor for the Bulldogs. That that was kind of weird. He, he was running off the field, then all of a sudden he just fell. That's a big kid that dropped to the ground. He looks pretty, at least looks pretty hurt right now. So we're going to take a little break, and hopefully he'll get up and be okay. We'll be right back after this. Are you nervous about getting on the game, Mike? That's okay. It's as easy as talking on the phone. Anyone can do it. Or are you that person who always thought you would be a good sports broadcaster? Like every time you say something, the announcer... So we have an injured player on the field currently for Folsom. Looks to be one of the linemen. He looks to be getting up. I mean, that's a big kid. Looks like Christian Newberry Jones, the six foot six, 305 pound lineman. Not a small kid. And it was interesting to see because he was, he was kind of jogging off to the sideline and all of a sudden he just kind of collapsed to the floor. But good sign. He's up, and he walked off on his own power. So first down and 10 for the Bulldogs on the 16-yard line. Well, here we go, Coach. Folsom's going to stay familiar. They're going to work out of the shotgun. Number seven's going to take the snap. He's going to hand the ball off up the middle for about a gain of three right there. Yeah, i got to be honest here, Coach. I'm watching some of these kids right now. They're limping around. It looks to me like cramps could be setting in. Somebody better break out a teaspoon of mustard and get to feeding it to them. Yeah, well, it's in. I mean, it's it's a it's a chilly night, right, Doug? I mean, it's chilly out here, but it's not. It. I mean, we're not in big old jackets or anything. Uh, 2019, the last time they had section finals, it was dumping rain here at Sac City tonight. Very nice night for a football game in November. Folsom works out of the shotgun. They're gonna drop back. They're gonna throw the ball over to the middle. That ball's caught. Is it picked off? That ball's on the deck. Folsom's going to recover it. I think they're wiping that one off, Coach. I think they're going to call that one an incomplete pass. It looks like both kids got their hands on it for an incomplete pass. Crowd's not too happy with that one, but I think that might be the right call right there, Coach. That's going to be uh, Bulldogs 20, Thunder 3. We're in the fourth quarter with nine minutes and 26 seconds left. And I'll tell you what, Thunder's got to be thinking to themselves, we need that ball back, Coach. We got to start hawking that ball. Yeah, this is this is absolutely critical right here, this play. Third down seven. They got it to get their offense back on the field or, or some kind of big old turnover here. Want to be careful trying to blitz this kid, though. He's got good receivers. Thunder's going to back out here. They like they're going to play a little bit of a zone. I see laundry on the field, coach, in the neighborhood of Mr. Rogers. 85 over the middle with the catch, though. We could be bringing that all back, though. Knock, knock, knock. 
Guess who's there, coach? <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Mr. Rogers is here, and the holding's going to come. It, it, that would have been a, probably a 30-yard pickup for Walker Lions, but you, could, you, you heard the crowd of Rockland just going, whoa, and then all of a sudden you saw the flags fly and huge, huge penalty for the Thunder. Thunder just keep pushing them back right now. You heard me say it earlier in the evening. It looks to me like the referees have brought the fishing gear today because I'm telling you what, they're reeling everything in left and right right now. Folsom going in reverse. Thunder's got to be thinking to themselves, we got to get that ball back or we got to get them trapped up here by the end zone. They got to be looking for a long punt if they can get it to fourth down, right, coach? Tough, tough play in the game right here. Huge play. Third down, 17. You got Walker Lyons split out to Jermaine's left. You have Rico Flores also about five feet five yards from him to his left side we'll see what happens big play in this ball game this could be it right here you see the you see Rob they're, they're gonna go ahead and call a timeout coach I'll be honest with you I think they're feeling the pressure just like we were right there this is a huge huge play in this game right now Thunder's got to try to stop them get their offense back on the field Folsom's got to be thinking to themselves coach go way back in the playbook go deep deep in the playbook sometimes where the lettering doesn't match stuff do we got a trick play for this third down <laughs> That's right. All right. We have a timeout here, but as we have a timeout, we won't go to commercial, but I will drop a little bit of commercial for you. Anyone, anyone can pick up the mic and call any game, anywhere, any sport, any level, all for free. You just create, you just create an event, set a time. Once it's time to go, you hit go live. You can be aspiring professionals. You can just be a mom or dad just giving audio updates. You could be pro like Doug. <laughs> or you could be just a, a teenager just wanting to have fun calling a game. Anyone can pick up the game mic. Don't forget about the emotions, Coach. Game mic. It's in the emotions, folks. And me, I'm just Steve from Max Preps calling this game. I appreciate you having me, Doug. Hey, it's an honor and a privilege to be standing next to you, Coach, calling it out. I've never met anybody with the numbers that you got. Hey, Folsom's going to air it out. They got him wide open. That could be laundry, Coach. No, 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 no. They said we didn't call it on them. We're not going to call it for you. I'll tell you what, Coach. Folsom went up top right there. I thought they had a chance. Well, it looked like they ran a, a little bit of a trick play there. They went back to the right. Uh, they rolled out right through all the way back left. It, it was questionable. If they called a PA, PI on that, I, we may have seen the whole Thunder crowd storm the field. It was a good call by the officials not to call that pass interference. Now, if you're Thunder, you're going to get the ball with good field position here with 846 left in the game. It is basically we have to score or this game's over. Coach, you got to be thinking, we're bringing everything in the kitchen sink right here at this punter, right? I want to try to put the block on here. They're going to put a good rush. That's a nice kick. Hey, 17's going to get an opportunity here. He's going to catch the ball, put his foot in the ground. He's going to go from our right to our left. He's going to try to get outside. They're going to string him out, though, Coach. That's an awfully long ways to run for a two-yard gain. But I'll tell you what, we're moving in the right direction here, Coach. Yeah, Nathan can't – I mean, he's he's – He's got, he's got that excitement to him whenever he gets the ball, similar to Rico Flores. He, he brings that electricity. You could tell right when he got it, the Thunder crowd, oh, here we go, here we go. Th or the Bulldogs did a great job, though, on that punt coverage. So we have a 20-3 to three game. They're going to get the ball to the, their own 41-yard line, trailing 17. Do or die here, in my opinion, for a touchdown. I couldn't agree more, Coach. Thunder's going to work out of the shotgun. 16's going to drop back. He's going to air it out. They got the book wide open right now, Coach. They're going down the sideline. He made the catch, but he's two feet out of bounds right there. I like what they're thinking right now, though, Coach. They're looking at the time on the board. They're seeing where they're at right now, and they know they got to open up the book here. We got to go get some points. Yeah, and a, a good call. Just he, he just sailed it a little bit out, to the to the out of bounds side. He didn't really give his receiver a chance to catch it. He caught it, but it was out of bounds. And right now, the the junior quarterback. That they're looking for him to, to start to make some plays. They need him right now in this game. Coach, 21's been kind of silent there in the backfield tonight, too. He got off to a good start in the first quarter, and it looks to me like they've had to go away from him. As soon as I mention it, though, they stick it in his belly, and they let him take off running. And there he is again, Coach, for another gain of seven. I'm trying to figure out maybe we went away from that kid just a little too early tonight. 
Yeah, I think what happened is Folsom came out in the second half because, like you said, Doug, in the first half they went to Johnson, 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 and then Folsom came out and kind of smacked them a little bit in that beginning of the, of the second half, and they went to the pass game. But that was a nice pickup now, third down and one, big play here in this game. Here we go. Thunder's got to be thinking to themselves, we got to keep moving the ball. This is two-down territory, though, Coach, to be honest. If you're, you're going for it on fourth right here, they're going to run up the middle. Did they get it? We're looking to see if they move the chains. I don't know, coach. I don't know. This might be moved to oh, – nope, nope, nope. He just gave the signal. They're moving the chain, gang. They're on the move here, coach. First and 10, Thunder. They're going to keep it moving. Yeah, it first down and 10. Ball at the 30-yard line, 730 left to go in the game. You can't be thinking anything less than touchdown right here. Field goal's out of the question right now. 16's going to work out of the shotgun. Folsom's going to flush him out of the pocket. Holy woly, coach. That's going to be the third sack of the night. He was here. He was there. Highly educated, but Folsom didn't care. Yeah, Josh Tremaine with the sack, number 14. Him and another teammate there to take down Roberts. Big, big sack for Folsom there on first down, and it's going to just based on the chains, it's going to be about second down and 16. Loss of six on the play. Coach is calling it right tonight. Thunder's got to get it right here. They're running out of opportunities. Folsom's just getting more and more excited, Coach. Sidelines are up. Fans are standing up on the Bulldog side. Thunder's going to drop back. They're looking deep. They're going to go over the middle. He's open, Coach. That ball's aired out. Almost picked off by Folsom right there, though. Hey, they had a chance. They had a chance. Yeah, and, and Doug, I mean, <laughs> Elias Mulliken, one of the best players on Rockland, ran that post route, I mean, literally right in between the goalpost. He had him. I mean, if, if, with a good ball there, I mean, it would have been a tough throw, a, a really good throw. But if the throw was there, that's a touchdown. I, I don't know how many balls has Elias McMillan caught tonight, if any. And he is one of their main weapons. Big play here, third down 16. Tough play here for Thunder. We'll see what happens. Two down territory again, Coach. They got to try to get 16 in two plays here. Maybe we try to get half of it. They work out of the shotgun. They go into the flats. That's only for about a gain of three right there, Coach. I'm telling you what, the Bulldogs are flying all over the place, and they're talking a little trash to the Rockland sideline right now. I'll tell you what, this game is getting chippy. It seems to me like Folsom can kind of see it. Yeah, that's Greco Carrillo, the, the kid we called earlier in the half who caused that fumble. That was a great tackle. If you're a defensive coach, you, you coach in the secondary, a DB coach, or your defensive coordinator, that's the play you show everybody in the future how you wrap up and tackle when you're one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. I couldn't agree more there, Coach. You hear the Folsom Bulldogs. They're getting hyped up right now. They want their defense to do something. 16's going to work out of the gun. He's going to step up in the pocket, roll right. He's got a man open. Nice try. Tried to make the one-hand catch, Coach. They're a little out of his way, though. I think that's going to bring up – I think Folsom's going to take the ball over again here, Coach. Thunder could be in trouble right now. I think the Bulldogs can smell it, Coach. Yeah, and it was a good effort. Roberts didn't have – much to go to, great rush by the Bulldogs, and he just tried to sail it over the top of a linebacker into the hands of Kent. Kent tried to go up with his left hand and snag it and bring it in. He just could not pull it down. And Doug, it's not looking good here with six, about 6.15 left to go in this half. Fols or Not this half, this game, and Folsom has the ball. Thunder's got to go try to take this ball, coach. As a defensive coach right now, I'm, I'm wheeling in my play in the huddle. We're ball hawking right now. I want you to stand him up. Let your friends come in, and we're trying to rake the ball right now. Folsom's got to be thinking, run the ball with two hands, going up the middle for about a gain of one right there, Coach. I think right now they're just going to try to keep the clock moving here. We're going to six minutes here. It's going to be second and ten. Folsom's in control right now. Thunder trying to get it back. Yeah, Doug, what do you see happening in the crowd right now? You see a lot of people headed towards the exits because thunder they're just in, or they're just they got their heels I'm, they're on their heels right now this is not looking good the thunder crowds leaving even some of the Folsom crowd starting to leave probably especially some of the casual fans starting to head out in this game it's not over yet though 530 to go second down and 10 Folsom's got the ball on their own 34 yard line I'm watching exactly what you're saying, Coach. He's painting one heck of a picture here tonight for you folks. All the way from the stop signal at the beginning of the game to the crowd funneling out right now. I'll tell you what. Folsom's going to work out of the shotgun again. 
They're going to try to run. That ball's going to be for a loss, Coach. I'll tell you what. Thunder's not going to let him. Thunder doesn't want to go away easily here. No, and Rockland's going to take a time out the first of the half. We will take a quick little break and be back right after this. Have you always wanted to be a sports broadcaster but didn't know how to get started? Well, Game Mike allows you to go out and practice, just like we need to practice as athletes. You can't get better without work, so gain that experience on Game Mike. All right, here we go. 5.15 to go in this game. Third down and 17. Folsom with the ball. Folsom's got to be thinking right here, Coach. Maybe we go ahead and pick up half of that right now. We let a little time run down, and we'll go ahead and punt the ball back to him because I'll tell you what, Folsom's defense is tough right now. All right. They're going to make a throw, and it's going to be pretty short pickup there from Tremaine to Flores. But what it's going to do, do Doug is it's going to force Folsom to punt the ball. It's going to be fourth down and long. So Rockland's going to get the ball with just about fourth, probably fourth thirty left in this game. They got to go down and score right away, and then start onside and hope for a miracle. Ten four, Roger that, Coach. We're hoping for a whole lot to get a victory right there. But I'll tell you what, I've seen it happen. Hey, last week, last week it was not looking good for Rockland. And then all of a sudden, they pulled some miracle out to beat St. Mary's. If you watch that game over again, you're wondering, how the heck did Rockland pull that out? They did. They pulled it out. It was a crazy game. We'll see what happens here. Rock, uh, Folsom's going to take this all the way down, probably then get a delay a game or call a timeout. And so we'll take a quick little break. Rockland's going to be getting the ball here after this timeout. That's the second timeout for Folsom. 423 left to go. In this game, I'm Steve Montoya with MaxPreps.com, calling the game with Doug Stevens on Game Mike. We'll be right back. Yeah, all right, here we go. Folsom's got to be thinking one thing right now, Coach. We just got to get the ball down to the other end of the field here and let our defense go to work. Snaps the ball. I see laundry on the field. This could be a free one. 17's waving it off, though. He wants to catch that and hold tight. I see laundry on the field. Could be a false start here, Coach. Somebody might have got a head start on that punt right there. Yeah, it's uh, in the neighborhood, but I don't think it's in the neighborhood of holding. So we'll see the, the official man in the white hat meeting to see what happens here. If if they're going to have to repunt or what. There are 4.15 left to go in this game. It looks like it's going to be a fall, fall start by or a legal formation, but they're just... Let's see what they're going to do. Okay, so basically what happens, two penalties, one on Rockland, one on Folsom. Penalties offset. They're going to have to re-kick. Folsom's punt team's coming back out onto the field. Rockland's receiving team's ready to go. I'll tell you what, Coach. Thunder got to be thinking to themselves right now, give me an opportunity to run one back here. Give me an opportunity to try to do something here. They can get this game to 10 to 20 with four minutes left. Could be cooking with something here. But I'll tell you what, the Folsom Bulldogs' defense has looked tough. That was almost a bad snap. That's a horrible kick. That ball's rolling down the field. 17's going to get a shot here. He's going to pick it up. 
Six is going to run him right out of bounds. We've been watching Six catch the ball tonight, and he's playing defense on special teams, Coach. Yeah, McMillan's had a great game for the Bulldogs. So 4.08 left to go. I, I The Thunder are going to have to strike fast here if they want to have a chance in this game. They got two timeouts remaining. Folsom with one, trailing by 17. Sixteen's going to work out of the shotgun for the Thunder. He's going to drop back. He's looking to his left. He's going to throw one in the flat there to number 11. He's going to make the catch for a gain of 10 right there. It looks like they're moving the ball. Well, here it comes. This has got to be the hurry-up offense here now, folks. Rockland's running out of time. They're taking their call from the coach right now. The clock has started. They're up and running. Sixteen's going to work out of the shotgun. I'll tell you what, Coach, the band don't want to go home. They're still thumping drums over here on the Thunder side. 16 takes a snap. He drops back. He's looking to his left again. He's going to narrow it out. That ball, holy woly, that thing was almost picked off. I'll tell you what, the Bulldogs come off with a pickoff. That's ball game, coach. Yeah, that, Greco, man, that kid's impressive. Greco Carrillo, we saw him strip. We saw him with some nice tackles, lockdown coverage. He almost had another pick right there. Super impressed by the way he's playing tonight. Eh, a great coverage there. Almost pick, almost pick six if he holds on to that. Thunder's going to stay familiar. They're going to work out of the shotgun. 16's got the snap. He's taking a two-step drop. He's looking to the right. He's flushed out of the pocket. He's flushed out of the pocket again. Coach, they're going to sack him again. That's the fourth sack of the night right there. Folsom's all over it right now, people. Thunder's got to get it figured out. Washington with the sack, and uh, that's going to be a big play for the – Bulldog defense because it's going to bring up a third down and 12. And Doug said it earlier, the band's not slowing down. The cheerleaders are still here. Some of the crowd's leaving. But, man, for these seniors, your last game, you'll never forget it. You, you don't want to leave the field. You, you don't want it to be over. And so they're going to give everything they got here with this remaining 352 left to go. And I admire everything they're doing, Coach. An athlete is an athlete. You got to give it your all no matter what the score is. 16's going to work out of the shotgun again. He's going to step back. He's going to step out the pocket. He's going to air it out deep, coach. He's got a shot down there. That ball's incomplete out of bounds. I'll tell you what. I've been watching 16 tonight, coach. He's got a great arm. He's got great movement in the pocket. I'm liking how he's going through his progressions. Unfortunately, though, the ball has just not been on target tonight like he's wanted to be. Yeah, and I know he wants to make the big plays, but sometimes – Right there, Doug. If he just ran it, he picks up 15 yards. It, you know, I know you want to go for the touchdown right now, with 344, but basically you had no chance at it. Pick up that first down, keep the game going. Right now, it's ball game on the line, fourth down and 12. I couldn't agree more, Coach. Here it is for the Thunder right now. We're in the fourth quarter with three minutes and 44 seconds left. It's fourth and 12. Thunder's got their last shot right here. 16 takes a deep breath. His heart rate's under control. Takes a snap, drops back, two-step drop. They're being flushed. Steps up in the pocket, drops a dime. Hey, number three makes the catch. Makes a pretty good play. But I don't think he got enough, coach. Folsom's going to take the ball back. Yeah, and Folsom's going to take over on downs because I don't think they're going to get enough to get the first down. But they are going to potentially bring out the chains on this one to see, but the, the, the Folsom sideline had a pretty good view of it. They're basically saying no chance, no chance, no chance. I think Rockland just wants to see if the chains come out and get the first down. Um, Elias, the, the receiver there, made the catch, fighting for it. So right now the chains are coming out. There's 335 left to go in this game. Basically, it's over if they don't get this first down. I don't think they got the first down based on the the emotions of both sides here. We'll see. Chains right now. They're going to pull it tight, see what happens. Full, full some players right on it. And as expected, it's the Bulldogs' ball. And I think you can hear the crowd right now. You get a sense that the, the ball game's over and, and the the crowds are starting to pour out here a, a, an incredible season dug by the Rockland Thunder 12 and 0 league championship beat Folsom 
earlier on the year, and they come back and they lose their section finalists. Great season for, for the Thunder. We're going to see where the Bulldogs play. But, Doug, get this. We could see a rematch. Folsom, De La Salle. I'll tell you what, Coach. That'll be a good one. And I definitely want to give all shots out to both of these ball clubs. They both showed up here tonight. They're handling business. Folsom's looking to put the nail in the coffin right now. Coach, they're going to continue to hand it to number four and probably number 34. They're going to keep the clock moving. And I'll tell you what, to both ball clubs tonight, way to show up and show out right now. I got to be real honest with you, Coach. I'm just now catching a lot of high school football. I'm just now getting into the groove of things. And I'll be honest, I think Rockland and Folsom both have a future when it comes to playing each other out here in Northern California under the lights. If you don't want to come watch these two teams play, then you don't know high school football, people. Well, the good thing is you don't have to now. You can listen on game mic. <laughs> if you can't make it, you listen on the go. It's a it's a, it's a a multitasking media channel, meaning if you use it outside, you use it at home, you have multiple kids, hey, you can watch one kid's game. I listen to the other. So here we go. Uh, they're just running the rock now for the Bulldogs. Number four is pounding it, picking up first down, and really just as a penalty comes in late and, and – that's going to be on 5-4 right there, Coach, right in front of everybody. Anybody who's watching the game right now, 54 went ahead and bulldogged a little somebody right there at the end of that play. Yeah, and we really appreciate everybody listening. And it, it, to me, Doug, I'll look back at this game. You know, I'll check on Max Preps and, and see just kind of the stats and, and what happened here. Because we're down at the sideline. We're not we're not taking in all the notes and everything. We're just calling the game as we see it. But it would be real interesting to just kind of see – you know, just how well Folsom's defense played in this game. Well, I can, I'll can. i be honest with you, Coach. Looking at the stats, you can call me tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to let you know right now. Thunder's offense never really got started after the first quarter today. Folsom ended up taking over. They took they took the, you know, the, the lead into the – not the lead, but they went into the half positive. They came out of the huddle positive after halftime. It started at the top with the Folsom coaches. They opened up the book a little bit, and it seems to me like they had Rockland's number here at the end. Yeah, and – Get this, get this, Doug, right? Rockland scored 51 against St. Mary's. They scored 42 against Sheldon, 56 against Pleasant Grove. They really did not score under 20 all season long. I mean, they, they had one game where they scored 69 points. So for the for them to score only three is just a testament to the coaching staff of the Bulldogs, the adjustments that they can make over there. And it's it, it was just a well-coached, well-played game by Folsom. I'll be honest, coach. If I'm the head coach over there at Folsom, I'm taking my defensive coach out for a steak and potato. Because I'll tell you what, when I do great on game, Mike, I'm looking for a steak and potato. It's in the emotions when I eat too, coach. All right. Well, we, we got we to gotta get you a steak and potato. Thanks for letting me call this game with you. Uh, you know, as, as the, the expert here from Max Preps call on this game, it's been fun to follow these guys. I, I run the, the I run a penalty coming in. Oh, coach, we're going to get to see Mr. Rogers one more time before we get out of here tonight. <laughs> That's right. Uh, some people, some, some people want to join the join into the, the the audience. I don't know if are into the as we call them speakers. We're gonna. So if you hit the little hand request, that means you wanted to speak. I'm just going to accept him to see what happens. Let's meet somebody tonight, Coach. So, we got... Holy wall, Coach. That was an exciting one. So glad I was able to watch it on game, Mike. Well, well I appreciate, appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate everybody who tuned in on this one. It was a fun night. Yeah, I really felt it in the emotions. A lot of emotions coming out of us tonight. Folsom's going to go ahead and sing to him, Coach. No, 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 no. That's what I think it started with. I'll let them finish the rest of it. Yeah, uh, a lot of people, they're, they're basically singing the no, 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 hey, hey, goodbye. Because guess what, Doug? These are league rivals. This is not going to go away. <laughs> These two teams are going to battle for a long time. A lot of good talent. Now they're chanting overrated. overrated. Oh. I'll tell you what, Coach, this could get chippy here. I'm going to walk over towards the Folsom sideline just so you guys can feel the emotions of the game. Uh, 
Hello. I don't know if Rockland's overrated. That that chant might be a little uh, over the top there, but uh, of course, right where we when we walk here, they stop chanting. Folsom's gonna take the snap here, coach. They're gonna roll to the left. They're just gonna keep running it right now, coach. They want to see the clock go bye bye. We're down to a minute and fifty one seconds here. Folsom twenty, Thunder three. I'll tell you what, it's all about over here, coach. Yeah, Rockland will take their final timeout of the game. We appreciate uh, those who were joined us at, as speakers, whoever that was that said about the emotions. Appreciate that. Doug is Doug has coined the phrase for game mic. It's in the emotions, I believe. It's most definitely emotions, Coach. I wouldn't show up if I wasn't emotional. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's been a it's been a good one. But I, I believe this game is pretty much a wrap. So uh, what will happen now is one team, one team from the NorCal will get an automatic open bid if St. Francis wins. They'll, like, they'll get that bid. It, it's all but likely if St. Francis loses. If St. Francis loses, then De La Salle will get that bid because De La Salle beat Folsom. Folsom's going to work out of the shotgun. They're going to take the snap. They're going to run the ball up the middle. Whistles are going to blow. And I think Rockland's out of timeouts, Coach. We're going to get to watch the time just dwindle down off the clock here. Yeah, thanks so much, guys, for having me on. All right, we got some emotional speakers, I believe, coming into the ball game, too. So, you know, beauty, beauty of it. If uh, you know, if you're the host, somebody wants to come speak, it's a little loud. You just mute them, remove them. <laughs> uh, oh. Looks like Nico wants to come back in, man. That guy, that guy wants to talk tonight. All right, Nico. Who else wants to come back in here? Susan. Appreciate Susan. Appreciate it. See what these two have to say. Oh, I'm here, Susan. Hi, guys. Hello. You better give a little love out to the Tremaine trio between Josh and Tyler outstanding two brothers and a cousin who've been leading this team throughout the entire year what a difference it makes to have tyler back oh man. oh man you could you couldn't have said it better all three of them played a phenomenal game and tyler is uh, obviously a huge you're the only one uh, difference I mean, a, night and day with him on the field so you couldn't have said it better right as a teacher at Folsom High, all three of them are also outstanding student oh, athletes. That's awesome. Well, we appreciate you listening in, Susan, and uh, you, you couldn't be more right. And nothing better than a great student. Wait, who's the quarterback? Josh Susan, Tyler. I would also like to say, don't be afraid to pick up Tyler. game, Mike. I love your stats and Tyler, the way you're talking good about the kids. Have a great night, Susan. Thank you, and congratulations to all the Bulldogs, and great job to Rockland, too. All right. Thank you, Susan. Appreciate it. All right. We got Brian coming in. Yeah, I just wanted to say a final thanks to everyone commentating. It was really inappropriate of Rich to do that, but, you know, just kick them off. Uh, it's, it's always fun to have some jokers out there make it a little interest. <laughs> okay. All right, there. All right, there, funny guys. I, you know, appreciate you guys, but uh, I'm blocking you, Nico. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite speaker all year, Susan. You know, she brought, she brought truth. Susan, Game Mike Award of the Week. <laughs> Play of the Week, Call of the Week. Listening to Game Mike, keeping all of her stats right, giving the kids their shots out, especially on the educational part, because I'll tell you what, student right. comes before athlete, folks. Don't ever forget that, Mom and Dad. <laughs> all right, well, we have 
It looks like 44 seconds left to go in this ball game. It's all but over. Ooh. I got Gabe. Gabe's. Gabe, hopefully, uh, maybe you heard some next level commercials while you're listening. No, absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome. Appreciate the love. I had a question. I don't know if you got your stats near you or your or your your history book near you, but I'm just curious how many how many section championships is this for Folsom and and is this the first for Coach Doherty? Good a good question there. You're putting me on the spot, Gabe. <laughs> uh, well, I believe I believe Coach Doherty took over. You know, Gabe, you stumped me. No, I know folks at Sac High. I know he turned around that Sac High program and, and kind of resuscitated that. And I know he was close. He's been close at Folsom. Yeah. Curious as to where this Folsom High run. I, I just had a Facebook memory from the 2011 when Folsom played at El Grove. You know, Folsom has pretty much played in almost every section championship game since then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know. I know that. You know, they, they lost in 2019. Maybe Susan knows she's coming on. And that's ball game. This is a first for Doherty. In the field right now, coach. Coaches are getting Gatorade baths. Kids are hopping around. I'll tell you what, it, this is what it's all about. You don't like this. You don't like Friday night football, coach. I'm, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you guys into the Folsom. Uh, right now, they're players. I'm going to bring you in so you can kind of hear some of the emotions right now. I'm going to just kind of mute right now. Nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm bringing you right now, walk in, right into the, the middle of the field, walking out. I'm going to walk right into the, into the line of players right now. Rico Flores doing some dancing. I'm going to get right by him. I want to, I'm going to take you into some of the emotions of any. So I'm just going to, I'm going to let it flow right here. A lot of hugging going on right now. They're in the, they're in the line. I'm, I'm just walking side the line. As they... As they give the high fives to Rockland. A lot of good sportsmanship going on. Looks like a lot of these guys know each other. Leaving the line now, I'm going to take you guys over to where the players from Folsom who've come out of the line now are talking. I'm going to take you, Doherty's getting interviewed right now. It just feels good. I think we knew early on. I was telling this guy that was the best team in the section, right? And we had to earn it. We had to prove it. And we didn't get a chance to do it the first time around, but this time feels all right. Absolutely. Now you guys look ahead to next week. You're gonna have another good opponent. You know how are you gonna enjoy this until then? I think we don't find out until Sunday. So the kids just enjoy it, and we'll find out who we play when we find out. Congratulations, to you, Coach. Congratulations, to Uh, that was Coach Doherty. I'm going to take you now. Folsom's going to be running over to their, their fans. I'm going to run over and take you inside their celebration with their fans. I'm just running over right now. See if I can get you some of the emotions of that. Thank you. 
do. This is what we do, baby. And we ain't done yet. Yeah, it's our fitness. All right, they've just left the, the crowd. Now they're walking over to get their medals and everything. Thanks for listening in on game Mike Folsom, your sack walking section division one champs. Have a good night.